you spend a little more time with your family this holiday season? We invited Trevor Molino. She's a marriage and family therapist and author of Blending Families to help us all out. We might need a little extra help this year. Good morning to you, Trevor. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, this is something that uh, I think people deal with, especially during these holidays oh, coming yeah. up. Thanksgiving, Christmas, family gets around the table. Everybody's different. Everybody brings a different dynamic, mm -hmm. and it doesn't always work well together. Mm -hmm. It can be messy now and then. Yes. Points. Yeah. Uh, what what's some advice you can give here? It's gonna uh, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, and even in my own family, we have lots of disagreements. So really, the the key is to be respectful. Okay. First, be respectful and kind, and then the other piece is to be radically empathic. Sort of understand where that other person is coming from, and be respectful of that, and just Wouldn't try to open yourself. Looking at it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If we all do yeah. that, there would be no conflict. Yeah, right? I don't think so. You don't have. No one's gonna. You're, you, no one's gonna change anyone's mind. No. No. So bite your tongue, I mean, or should right. you just let people talk, hear them out? Like how um, pragmatically should we do it? I think if we allow racism or sexism to go by and say it's okay, that's not okay. You right. can say this is a family value, this is how we express love and respect for one another. Uh, we're open, we want to listen, we want to be caring. I don't think it's okay to say, you know, allow really sexist, misogynistic, or racist remarks go by. I think that's not okay. What about if it's just someone who really has a strong belief in a certain candidate or whatever? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, how do you do it? Do you let them, do, does everyone like say at the beginning of the meal, like, let's just all agree to disagree and, and not talk about politics? Well, or? we've actually done that as a family because we have some very different viewpoints and we've just said, you know what, we are not going down the poli politics path at this particular point. It may be another more appropriate time to talk about it, but a holiday meal, you know, let's talk about something fun and good, and maybe the kids did well in sports, and somebody else had a great career move. Focus on good things, at least for a little while. That sounds so refreshing and yeah. so non-controversial. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what about blending families? This is something that mm -hmm. you know very, very well. You mm -hmm. specialize in this. Um, even that alone can be very difficult. Yes, and again, I really, I back to that radical empathy place, which is if you can really just slow down, stop, and listen, and if you feel yourself triggered and angry, um, just take a deep breath, step back, and and it's amazing remember. the power in that. Isn't it's it? It's incredible. Take just a moment, mm -hmm. take a deep breath, and mm -hmm. for whatever reason, it is all okay just a few minutes later. Just it let is. that moment pass. It is. All right, the name of your book again, just in case we want to just Blending read it Families, <laughs> Emerging Households with Kids 8 to 18. And uh, yeah, it can be a great process. It can be very tricky. Uh, the book is helpful.